it is August 4th, 2020. Over the past few days, as I was going over how I was going to do this podcast, this specific one, I was going to be fire and brimstone, anger and regret. I was going to spew venom from my mouth in a way that could hurt people in their livelihood and in the way they want to live their own life. That's not who I am. And no matter what is done to me, no matter how wronged I feel as a human being, I could never do that to somebody else. I'll just cut them out of my life and warn others not to be close them. I'm talking about my recent stint on a radio station called Pop Radio 77. All I'm going to say about it is it ended badly. It started badly <laughs> and ended badly, but it made me stronger. It gave me the ability to kind of look at what I've done over the past five years, all the changing, all the self-repair, all the not being drunk. It made me realize that regardless of how it turned out, I have the ability to do what I love again, and I can do it well. They may sound a little egotistical, but, you know, today I'll take it. I found something in myself that I thought I had lost, a portion of what made me me from the very beginning. Through all my twists and turns, and things that I had done wrong as a person. I can't sit here and judge anybody else on what they've done. What I can say is that one day they're going to have to face the judge on their own and no amount of lying or excuses is going to get them out of it. I'm really excited to see where I could go from here. Being a radio personality is something I worked so very, very hard over the years to try to be. And it's something that for the first time in the last five years that I actually want to do again and continue to, whether it's doing podcasts, doing random videos on Facebook, doing random YouTube videos, maybe getting on a radio station again, doing something on my own, making my own station. I don't know what that's going to be yet, but it's going to be something. And I hope that everybody who was in that situation with me this last time will do the same thing. No one person controls how you move forward. No one person controls, no matter how bad the situation was, you can only blame that person for so long. If you quit, if you stop, that's on you. So I hope those of you that are with me know and feel the same way that I do and want to move on. Oh, we're going to get our day in court and we'll get those things that were deserved. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not going to let it stop me from pursuing what I love. I'm not going to let it stop me from being the best man I can be for my kids, for my lady, and for the first time in a long time, even for myself. I feel like I can forgive myself enough to let myself enjoy what I can do instead of thinking all the ways that I try to push it down to be something that I'm not. So this experience has taught me that much and I can be grateful for it. Crazy, twisted year. I have lost so much and gained so much. This week, as a matter of fact, with a one-year anniversary of my coming here to New Jersey to start my new life and the loss of my brother. One whole year has gone by, and I can honestly say without a shadow of the doubt that I'm nowhere near the man I was when I left Colorado a year ago, and I'm proud to be the man that I am today. These experiences have shown me that I can be a better person, reach those goals in a way that I can hold my head up high with my integrity intact to show my kids the right way to do things. So yeah, you're going to hear my voice again. Could be anywhere. Maybe a McDonald's commercial you didn't even know about. In the meantime, I'm going to continue doing these thoughts from the basement. I love doing it. A couple new things we can do, actually, if you want to be part of the podcast and you have Skype, you can actually call me here at the desk and I can go ahead and put you on uh, with me as we do a broadcast, which would be fantastic, depending on the topic. I'm putting together kind of a list of things I want to go over and I'll put it up on the Facebook. You'll be able to see it. Any one of those topics you want to get in on, just let me know. And we can work it out. Next week, we're going to talk about how the school systems are opening back up due to the COVID situation, how they are coping, how teachers feel, and how a student feels. My son's going to be on next week, so he'll tell me his thoughts on going back to school in person. And these are my thoughts from this year's basement. Have a wonderful week.